So hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am Jack. When I'm in tips, tights, wigs, everything, I go by Luna Rose because I'm the beautiful flower that blooms at night. Nice little catchphrase, isn't it? And yeah, it's been a while since I filmed a full coverage, highlight, contour, flawless, drag, base face routine. That was a mouthful. And yeah, I thought I'd film an updated routine since I use pretty similar products every single time that I do my drag base. Pretty similar techniques, pretty much similar everything. Don't even wash my brushes sometimes. Sorry about it. And yeah, I just thought I'd film this video so I can always refer back to it in the future. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you are from a future video and what video you're from. Back to the future like hey girl shit. And yeah, subscribe to my channel. I bring out new videos every single Monday, 8pm Greenwich Mean Time. And without further ado, let's get on with this full coverage, flawless drag base face routine. Almost said it all without a mistake. Let's go. So I always like to start my drag face off with a freshly cleansed face and also freshly shaved. I then start off by applying some body bronzer just so my skin is a little bit more tanned and it's a little bit more airbrushed and this is literally the lightest shade that the Sally Hansen airbrush spray comes in so normally it is a little bit darker than my Casper White body. From here I like to go in with some form of hydrating mist or moisturiser or just something to keep my skin really nice and hydrated and then I also like a pore filling kind of primer just to give me a really nice smooth base. To block out the beard area, since you don't want the five o'clock shadow to kind of show through the foundation, I go in with a peachy shade colour corrector and then set that with a little bit of powder, just so it helps counteract kind of those like five o'clock shadowy blue grey tones that would show through otherwise. So pretty much colour correct and then set it with powder so it doesn't bleed into the foundation. For my foundation, I like to go in with the Krylon TV Paint Sticks, which are a really good, super full coverage drag foundation that covers up your past, your present, and your future. To blend it out, I like to use my Real Techniques Buffing Brush with one to two drops of rosehip oil over it, just because then it helps everything blend so much more seamlessly and so much easier. For my highlight shade, I go in with something two to three shades lighter than my skin color, which is pretty much my natural skin color without that body bronzer and stuff on, like, that's the real goal. But but take something that's a little bit lighter than your skin colour and you put this in the areas that you want to bring forward to feminise your features. So down the centre of the nose, under the eyes and I also like to do a little bit on the kind of jaw area just then when I go in with my contour shade it gives me some really defined cheekbones since I have a very fat round hamster face so I need the extra help. To blend it out I use that same Real Techniques brush and I go in more of a stippling motion to keep that colour placed more where I want it. I do also go over with this beauty blender afterwards just to keep everything Thing. Again, very seamless, very soft, very subtle since I'm a natural woman. From there, I go in with my contour shade, which is hella darker than my skin colour. So go like two to three shades darker. And I like to go with something a little bit more bronzy, just so it gives me that kind of overall bronzed Barbie effect. And you are putting this in all the areas that you want to be like pushed backwards or be more defined. So the cheekbones along the like top of the forehead, under that double chin to try and get rid of that, make it look like you haven't eaten a thousand donuts in a day, and along the nose just to help slender it out. I do kind of slightly alter the way I contour my nose, and I'm still not quite happy with the way I do my nose, but you know, it's fine for the time being, girl. I use that same brush again just to blend everything out and then go back over it with my beauty blender just to keep everything really seamless. If my skin looks particularly dry, I do like to go back in with a hydrating mist and maybe blend any more areas that could look a little bit dry or patchy, but when I'm happy with how everything's looking, it's time to bake in the oven. So take some loose powder and heavily pack this on your face, and trust me, I mean heavily. This keeps everything really sealed in place, it keeps everything where it should be, it stops it from moving, you can be gang banged, you can be fucked, everything. Your face will not go anywhere with this amount of like powder on it. Normally while I leave my face to bake for around 10 to 15 minutes, I fill in my brows since I don't cover them while I do drag, since I am bad at doing that, so that's why I don't do it. After the powder has been on my skin for around 10 to 15 minutes, I brush it off and we have a really nice matte set in place cake face ready for the night ahead. So after all the creams are nicely set in place, I like to get in with a little bit more of a hydrating mist just to make sure everything's nice and kind of not looking cakey or patchy. And then it's time to powder contour and powder highlight and blush and all that kind of jazz. So from there, I take this Kat Von D shade in light palette and I take the cool tone shade just so it gives me some more natural looking shadows and go over all the areas that we cream contoured. So everything that we want to push backwards and to find further, I do it with powders and I go a little bit more precise with this since this is going to kind 
kind of be the top final layer so it's a lot more visible. From there I like to go in with bronzer and heavily apply bronzer since I love to be super bronzed when I'm in drag. So apply bronzer again everywhere pretty much that we contoured and if you go a little bit too low or anything doesn't look quite right you can go back in with a little bit of powder and it will just kind of cut the cheek again and make everything look a lot nicer, crisper and cleaner. From there I like to go in with these Makeup Geek blushes and just heavily pack blush everywhere since I'm a natural blushing flush beauty and I apply a little bit over my nose too just to give that kind of kawaii kind of cute look and then from there it's time to go in and kind of go over those highlight areas I said those really weird sorry about that so I just go in with a nice light shade and just heavily like pack that over those areas just to bring that highlight and definition back into my face and then I like to go in with a really nice shimmering over the top highlighter just to really add the icing to the cake make everything look super shiny and highlighted and gorgeous and then one final sealant of setting spray or a hydrating mist just to make everything nice and set and beautiful and that's why I ran out of it so quick and then that is my drag contour highlight routine for both creams and powders and then from there just do eyes and lips and yeah that's my drag face I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching bye